Hey guys, so there's three things I want to say super quickly before getting into this video. One, today is my three year anniversary on YouTube. I will link my thank you video I just posted down below. Just go watch that. I can't say thank you enough, but I don't want to get into that in this video because I have a whole video just thanking you guys for all your support. Second, I wanted to mention this other college channel. This girl makes awesome videos. Her username is College Glamoration. Her videos are awesome. If you guys like my videos um, relating to school, I definitely think you should check out her videos. She posts really original, great, creative videos about college. And I actually found out about her through Daisy or Daisy Couture, who's another girl I absolutely love on here. So if you like my videos, you'll definitely definitely like their videos and if you don't like my videos I still think you'll like their videos and the third thing is I'm doing a question and answer video for this school series so I will link the video down below that you can leave your questions on but I want your questions to be very specific because people have been leaving very broad questions that I would need to literally answer in a video in itself like one question would be a five minute video so if you ask very specific questions I'll be able to answer a lot more of them some of the questions are very broad and I already have a video filmed for them like someone wanted to know about tips for being homesick so I actually have a whole like five minute video just about being homesick but just ask specific questions so I can answer a lot more of them now to get into this college video it's gonna be about the things I actually left behind last semester and forgot to pack now I did a whole video on what I packed and I'm going to be doing a video probably on my makeup collection and beauty products I'm packing and some kind of general packing but I'm not perfect I definitely left a few things behind and I wanted to just let you know what I forgot and stuff that you definitely might not remember to pack but you'll be like oh I wish I had that so first um, before I mention those things I would say to make a checklist a lot of stores have a list of things you want to pack but the list is so long and there's so much stuff that's unnecessary on that list so I think just make your own list maybe reference those lists but you don't need everything on them they definitely elaborate and put way more than you need but some of the stuff that I forgot when I um moved into my dorm room was plates. I cannot believe I forgot to bring bowls and plates. I wanted um, ceramic plates and I had ceramic plates from when I was a freshman. I just left them at home. I can't believe I forgot them. That was kind of one of the big things. So I had to buy new ones at Walmart. They were inexpensive, but it's just like, really, I forgot those. I had them because I like to use those whenever I put anything in the microwave. I don't really like to use reusable plates. I do use reusable silverware, but it takes two seconds to just wash it off. I mean, I feel like it's also a lot more, um, environmentally friendly than using a million paper plates so that was one of the things I forgot a second thing I actually forgot was to bring a scale now I used to not weigh myself but now that I've been getting healthy towards the end of the semester I really wish I had a scale because I also feel like having a scale would be a good way to avoid putting on the freshman 15 I know when I was um a freshman I definitely put on a lot of weight when I went away to school so to kind of avoid that having a scale in your dorm room could be important I'm not saying obsess over the scale but having a scale to weigh yourself maybe once a week just to make sure you're not uh getting up too high in your weight is definitely a good idea another thing I forgot was a thermometer I actually got sick a couple times it's very easy to get sick when you're in college there's a lot of germs you're living with other people I feel like you also go out at night and if you go to school where it's cold, you're not necessarily wearing a coat so you can get a cold. So I really wish I had a thermometer to check my temperature to see if I had to get medicine because I mean I had Tylenol in my dorm room and I could just take the Tylenol but sometimes it's nice to just you know have a thermometer so you can check your temperature and make sure you're not super sick. I also forgot batteries and a screwdriver. I forgot what I needed to open now but I remember I had to go to the store. Oh it was my TV. We had to set up my TV because we bought a brand new TV for my dorm room and there was no screwdriver so we had to buy one of those and then I needed batteries and there's a lot of things I have that need batteries and I can't believe I forgot those at home I also forgot a mirror like a mirror to do my makeup which is amazing like how do I forget that I love doing my makeup so I didn't have that and I also didn't have a um desk lamp the dorm room sometimes come with desk lamps or wall lamps or just um, standing lamps but mine didn't, so I didn't have a desk lamp, and I actually have to buy one because I never ended up buying one because some of the stuff you forget you don't necessarily need. It just might be a little better if you had it, but the stuff I just listed, I like needed, and I was like, really? I didn't have that, so I had to go to Walmart and buy it, but most colleges have a Walmart or a Target or a Kmart or a store like that right by there so you can just pick up the things that you forget but it's better to just bring it from home if you already have it you save money there's no need to go out and buy a million things if you could have just brought it from home so those are just the things I forgot and definitely make a checklist so you can avoid forgetting things and you can make sure you don't overpack and I will see you in my next back to school video bye everyone